the sneaky links back tonight. We got Linux Mint 9 is a Dora on the screen, fully installed, of course. I'm gonna go for a little look around and see what's new and what's not, and what's wrong and what's right. Because remember, it's a release candidate, so basically, we'll go from there. And so, we got so you've got the usual there, east and there. My system's up to date as it would be. It's me, of course. We've got the menu, remember, it's Gnome, there's your manager here. Computer, home folder, network, desktop, rubbish bin, software manager, package manager, control center, terminal, lock screen, log out and quit. <laughs> God, got me breath back there. So, not a lot on the whole has changed on the desktop, to be really honest with you. Most of the tweaks and goings on are down below, underneath. Although, oh, there's something that's missing, and I don't know what it is. So anyway, we've got Gwibber there, got Firefox, Thunderbird, all the usual you'd find in a Linux Mint distro. Open Office for your usual stuff, Sand and Video got Zero, Known Player, and Rhythm Box System Tools. Administration, you've got plenty in administration too, really, but it's, nothing has really changed too much. Now, this is the problem I have with Linux Mint. It's, it, this is my personal opinion, by the way. It's got a bit stuck, I think. Got a bit stuck. It's got into a nice little cosy corner, and nothing's changed too much. Which is why I don't actually use it on a desktop. When I first used it, I was really impressed. I mean, it's going back a long, long while now. But now, not so much. I mean, open the Fox up, it's lovely and quick, as you can see there, look. And if it's nice and clear, and you like to use it, it's really, really nice. And Patreon, as you can see, is all about the next one's nine. Is Adora, which we're using. We're using the release candidate, as I've already said. And they've kept the buttons on the right-hand side as well. Now, I don't know if it's me, but the button has changed them to the left, of course, as we all know. But that was a big, big change. But on the next minute, they're, they're sticking to their guns, I think, at the moment, and see how land lies. Also, remember, uh, there's big talk about them going over to Debian full-time. Now, whether that's a good or bad thing, I don't know. But we'll see, won't we, in the end. Only time will tell. So, we'll go to the BBC, make sure the stuff's there. Which is going to be, because in the next minute, most of your stuff's there. Although, legally, I don't think they can do that in the States. But, hey... Don't quote me on that, but if anybody's got information on it, we oui, let us know. Now, uh, I'm going to click to play. No audio, of course, because they'd be breaking law, just to make sure the iPlayer works. And yes, it works fine, as you can see. I'll just let it run a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit. That'll do you. But yeah, that's cool. So anyway, as there's nothing much changed, I thought, what should we show you, really? So we'll go over to, I think, Rhythmbox. Now, this is my favourite music player. Uh, before I come over to Linux, a long, long time ago, I did used to use several, but now I've even forgot about them, to be honest. So, we'll show you the box. Now, here's the other thing. <clears throat> with Ubuntu, with the music store, there was a big, big change again. And you can actually buy music legally by just going into Rhythm Box and buying it. I mean, all right, I know it's 99 pence a track, or 99 cents. I don't I'm happy with that, but hey, one of those things, isn't it? But there's no preferences or plugins to add Ubuntu Music Store, even though, as far as I am aware, it's fully Ubuntu based. Now, Mr. Lefebvre should have had a think about that one, I think. But hey, that's my opinion again. Bit of a letdown. Although, Rhythm Box on the whole is, I love it. It's brilliant. Desktop background's really, really nice. <clears throat> I'm going to change one for you just to show you. Nine. I like the nine. It's lovely. It runs really, really nice. But I think the thing that's been is starting to lose its way a bit, and we need some like verification of where it's going to go. Excuse me about that. I'll press on one. Of where it wants to go. <clears throat> Whether it wants to stay like in that nice little cosy corner, or does it want to go and you know, do its own developing and do some really good stuff? So, you know, that would be really good. Let me know what you think. I don't know. It's not much change, really, is it? No, not really. Although, you can't knock it, can you? It's really good. Everybody likes it, because it's all out-of-the-box stuff. Not totally legal, but hey. Anyway, that's enough for me. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.